How about you? Your parents? <laughs> I mean, that you see and stuff. Um, well, they're back east, but I talk to them all the time. Are they still together? They're weird, though. I mean, they're totally cool, totally together. It's just that they've never had a disagreement about anything more serious than whether it's going to be mashed the stovetop, tea or coffee. <laughs> kind of great. What? Nothing. Oh, there's not nothing going on behind those beautiful eyes of yours. Tell me. I was just thinking that, you know, you're not at all like what I expected you to be the first time I saw you. How so? I don't know, you're just, you're sweet. But you're the one that's hiding something. It's just that I was taught that if something seems too good to be true, then it probably isn't. Yeah. So far, what I know about you is you're beautiful, you're incredibly perceptive. I just need to know like one flaw so I can believe the rest. Get a week. David, I gotta go. My curfew's at midnight. Sorry. I guess she found my flaw. That's not a flaw. It's one more perfect thing for me to admire and respect. And wait for. Her. Well, the least you could have done was call, Nicole. I was sitting here for two hours imagining God knows what. Laura, I can't help it if my watch broke. And I mean, I mean, how would I even notice unless I was staring at it every second? Go to bed, Nicole. We'll deal with this tomorrow. Laura! I'm angry, Nicole. Just go to bed. Take off your makeup. You look like a slut.